Scotty D, audiobook demo reel. One evening, Goblin said, Ghost, let's go for a walk. Now, said Ghost, it's very late. I know, said Goblin, but I feel like walking. All right, I'll go with you. And off they went. It's very dark out, said Ghost. Yes, said Goblin, but I'm not scared. Neither am I, said Ghost, and off they went. Goblin, what would you do if a monster came up behind us? asked Ghost. Well, said Goblin, I would turn red. The velociraptor I... sniffed. It jerked its head and looked right at Tim. Tim nearly gasped with fright. Tim's body was rigid, tense. He watched as the reptile eye moved, scanning the room. Another sniff. He's got me, Tim thought. Then the head jerked back to look forward, and the animal went on towards the fifth stake. Tim thought, Lex, please don't move. Please don't move. Whatever you do, please don't. The velociraptor sniffed the stake and moved on. It was now at the open door to the freezer. Tim could see the smoke billowing out, curling along the floor toward the animal's feet. One big claw... March 29th, 1923. Dear Virginia, the desire to get into the mountains has grown very strong in me lately. How often I wish that the valley could be now like it was 40 years ago. A pure wilderness, with only a wagon road through it, and no automobiles, nor mobs. I long for the high places. They are so clean and pure and untouched. There is a difference between wishing for a thing and being ready to receive it. No one is ready for a thing until he believes he can acquire it. The state of mind must be belief, not mere hope or wish. Open-mindedness is essential for belief. Closed minds do not inspire faith, courage, and belief. Remember, no more effort is required to aim high at life, to demand abundance and prosperity, than is required to accept misery and poverty. A great poet has stated this universal truth through these lines. I bargained with life for a penny, and life would pay me no more. However, I begged at evening, when I counted my scanty store. For life is a just employer. He gives you what you ask. But once you have set the wages, why, you must bear the task. I worked for a menial's hire, only to learn, dismayed, that any wage I had asked of life, life would have willingly paid.